Hello lovelies. So today I am bringing you a different sort of layout. I um, am not following a layout of a, uh, a pocket letter or a, sorry, a page, a Project Live page that I have. It just sort of, this is the layout that just kind of came together uh, when I had these photos. And so I decided that I would just create my own page and I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do it yet. I just knew that I really wanted to have these photos incorporated and just in this amount and it's smaller than I normally do. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to mount it on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper or if I'm just going to create my own pocket uh, with my fuse tool. So, um, I know, please don't mind the mess all around my craft table. I am trying to get organized here. So, oh, um, I just want to mention that I am creating my own little pocket out of that piece of flower ephemera. That was the business card of the hairdresser that I went to. And so I just wanted to create, to include that, but I didn't want to just glue it down. So, um... I just stapled the edges of that floral piece and just sort of created this makeshift pocket and I really love the way it turned out. It's really it's really different and really cool. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, I went to the hairdresser at this time and I just got the ends um, trimmed off and I was just so happy. It's just it's such a great feeling to have um, your hair cut and it just, oh, it's so nice. So it's pretty, <laughs> pretty stoked about that. Um, so I just have a little before and after picture, um, a picture in the top left corner of the salon. It was, I had never been here before. I found this place on Facebook of all places and they had a, um, they had an opening the very next day when I called. So I booked it and I'm so happy that I did. Um, so yeah, now I am just trying to place some little pieces of ephemera, of ephemera around to kind of just spice up my layout here. Um, I added a little um, corner of a golden ticket on the um, after photo and a little wooden um, piece that says smile and then I am playing around with a Maggie Holmes tassel sticker. I end up putting it on that floral card on the bottom. And the um, before picture just says real life because this isn't a super glamorous uh, layout. This is just, I mean, this is what happens, you know? And so I have that gold heart that just says lovely and I just placed it in the corner there. There was something in the corner that it wasn't super obvious, but I kind of wanted to cover it up a little bit. And I just really liked that gold heart. So I just added it there. Now I'm gluing down that gold ampersand because I kind of like the, kind of liked the idea of the before and, and after, and then just, so like the before picture and the after picture and having the big ampersand be the and in the middle. Um, although I do add little um, alpha stickers later and I write out before and after, I just kind of like to, I just like to add it. Um, and that card in the middle also has a ruler on it, which I thought was kind of interesting because I got like a couple inches cut off. So I thought that kind of fit. Um, I just added a couple of gold sequins on that corner. Um, love this uh, Project Life card. And I kind of liked how the arrow was pointing back into the layout. And it's not, you would normally, you would put it horizontal so you could read it. But I kind of like how it's a little bit different in this one. So, um, I thought about adding a cork bow to that bottom piece. And it's a little blown out and I apologize for that. I am working on making sure the lighting is good enough so you can see what I'm doing but apparently it was a little too much. So next time I will have to dim that down a little bit. So um, I did use some pink Heidi shine and just tried to splatter it around. And you can't really tell from this photo, but it just became this big mess. Um, I have yet to perfect the 
Heidi Shine's bladder business. So <laughs> I am, you know, I just, I end up covering it up because I just did not like how it turned out. So here I am using some alphas from a studio calico um, alpha sheet. And I just wrote before and after. So there's two ampersands on one card, but I'm okay with it because I kind of like that the big ampersand is for the before and after photos and then the little ampersand matches the actual alphas. So there's that. Um, and then I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this bottom card. I really liked how all of the cards, how everything just went together really well. But then I messed it up with that splatter and so now I'm just trying to figure out how to uh, fix it. So I have this um, Chamel 12 by 12 paper pad and I cut out this square that says delighted and I was thinking about just placing that over the floral but it didn't work and then those stripes didn't work so then I thought maybe I have a smaller 3 by 4 Project Life card and that didn't work out um, <laughs> I tried quite a few things, so it's not an easy process by any means to um, change something up like this, but it can be done. So don't get discouraged if you do something and then you just realize, ah, I really don't like it, because there is always something you can do to change it up a little bit and make it a little bit different. So in this instance, I just went through a whole bunch of different cards to see if there's anything I liked. And then I had a square doily and I thought, oh, maybe I'll put the square doily. And then there was that half of a doily. And I thought, oh, see, here's where I'm trying to make it so you can see a little bit better. There we go. Um, I thought that half doily worked. And then this other half doily worked. Nope. So then I decided to put a full one in so that it's covers up the whole thing in there and I think it goes really well and I added that gold favorite word right back down in that Maggie Holmes tassel sticker and I just trimmed the edges of the doily a little bit that's me trying to get the um, <sighs> sticky tape off my desk where I put it down there and then I realized I wanted to write on here and I don't have enough of tiny alphas so I am just looking for some paper to put in there that I can um, um, add and write my own little journaling bit in there about my haircut. And I end up just using a regular piece of notebook paper and my circle punch. And it just has the faint blue lines. And I just add it right in there and I think it turned out really great actually. So I just tight, um, Write them a little something about how I really liked this. My hairdresser, her name was Eva, and um, I was just super happy about this haircut. It was a really awesome haircut. And then I decided I want to um, highlight the fact that her station was the one on the right, and I absolutely loved that they had these um, redone vintage dressers instead of like a regular salon um, station. I thought it was super pretty and they're this beautiful coral color. But I didn't want it to be an arrow because I thought that was kind of obvious. So instead I just put a heart on the seat that um, was actually hers. So there's that pocket that I really love how that turned out. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it and leave any comments or questions below. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.